Hello and welcome to the 13th video in this series of videos on programming a chess engine in C. So we're slowly creeping towards the stage where we'll take a position string from a GUI that our engine will be connected to and use this position string to set the required position up, whatever might, that might be, on the chessboard. To do this, the first thing we'll need to do is implement a function that actually resets our position structure, our board, to remove all of the pieces off the board and set all of the various values inside the structure to zero. This video will be another little bit of copy and paste because it's very, very simple what's being done inside this video as long as you understand for loops in C, which I guess everybody does. Um, I've added a file called board C to the project and included stdio.h and defs.h to the file, code file, and I've started off a function here called reset board, which takes in a pointer to a board structure and has one variable called index set to zero because that'll be using as the index inside uh, used as the index inside our loops. Then something else before we start coding this function that I want to do is go to defs.h and have a look back at the sq64 macro, which you'll remember was used to take a 120 base index square and return the 64 based index. So from our 120 based board to return the equivalent index over here on the 64 base square board. Well, we'll need in our board reset function a macro that does the exact opposite. So going from giving us a 120 base square from a 64 square. So I've added in here the same macro simply using the different array here. And I've also changed both of the macros to put brackets around the outside of them and also brackets around the argument that they take um, because experience tells me it's best to do that with macros and I forgot to when I set up the SQ64 here. Okay, so those macros are in and now for this video all we need to do is implement a very very simple reset board function. So the first part of this function is going to be to set the pieces up on the board. And this is done in, well clear the board, so this is done in two parts. The first one is with a for loop, looping through 120 squares and setting all these to our constant value of off board. So if you look at the board here, not only will the grey scores, which squares, sorry, which are the off board squares, are being set to, not only are they being set to off board, but also all of these squares that are the board are also being set to off board. And then what I'm doing is I'm looping again, but this time 0 to 64 based. So 0 to less than 64, so not to 63 here, and I'm using the macro that we've just written here, the SQ120, to get the equivalent square back over on this board here, so in this case 27 will give us a 54, so that I'm able to use this square to then set these internal squares to empty rather than off board, because they aren't off the board, which is what I do here. That's the way this macro works and the interchanging between these arrays I've spoken through for a few minutes in one of the other videos. It should be fairly self-explanatory by now. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we have some arrays inside our board structure. And that's the big pieces, the number of big pieces, number of major pieces, number of minor pieces in the position. And also our pawns, white, black, and both pawns together, the bit boards. And note that I've got a zero ULL here because they are an unsigned long long, so a U64 type. And then I've got another loop here which is resetting the piece number by piece type to zero. And I have a copy this down to here because it's, like I said in this video, it's very short and very self-explanatory. I'm setting here the square each king is in for white and for black. In fact, I suppose I could make this a little bit better from the programming standard here and actually put the constant sensing as we have them. Setting those to no square. Setting the side to both, I think. We added a both in for the color as well. Yes, we did, white, black and both. Because once the position is well, what we're going to do once we've set up a position, I'm going to be adding a function in this file called checkboard. And that's going to run through and check things like the kings are on sensible squares, that the side is either black or white, and things like this. It'll have a load of asserts in it to make sure that the board is actually a sensible legal position. 
So if I set when I clear the board side to both, then if the side doesn't get set when we're reading in the position, the side will still be both and it'll trigger an assert and we'll see an error in the program. On percent is set to no square, 50 moves set to zero. Apply, number of half moves played in the current search is set to zero. The number of history half moves played in the whole game, zero. The difference between these two will become clear when we, in a long time, I think in the future, get into searching in a position. Castle permission to zero. And the current hash key, position key, for the position is also set to zero. Now, of course, I'm missing one thing in our board structure, and that is the piece lists. But we're going to set the piece lists up in a completely different function, which will be written at a later date. OK, the only thing left to do is oh, add reset board to defs.h in the functions, because we'll be needing it. So we'll have board.c and extern reset board spelled incorrectly and save all of those and I'm just going to nothing should be happening in our main file but I'm just going to make this and hope it does it does good okay so there's nothing to print out or no uh, nothing really to see I could I well I thought about printing out these 120 squares to the console to prove that these are off board and these are empty but I'm not going to do that Suffice to say, we've got a fairly simple reset function written in board.c and in the next video we'll start talking about the position string that we use to set up the board. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube. Any questions, welcome. Anything that's not understood so far because very soon it's going to start getting a little bit more tricky. And see you in the next video.